In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Windows 7 is still available to upgrade for free. And I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. Windows 7, the end of life has has expired on January 14th, 2020. It is estimated that there are still about 200 million PCs out there still running Windows 7. And as of uh, December of 2019, Windows 7 still accounts for about 32% of all the Windows operating system out there. The reason you want to upgrade is due to security risks. If when, if somebody discovers a vulnerability with Windows 7, cyber criminals can hack into your system or compromise compromise your your computer. So to upgrade, open up your browser And you want to open up your browser and go to Google and then search for, I'm using Chrome, and search for Windows 10 upgrade. Try that again. All right. Okay, now it's coming up. So search for Windows 10 upgrade and scroll down until you see this section that says, Download Windows 10 disk image ISO ISO file, and then click on that link. When you click, when you click on that link, it'll take you to the Microsoft download page for the Windows 10 upgrade. And then go ahead, and click on this link called Download Tool Now. And your tool begins to download. After the tools download it, you want to right click on it and then choose show in folder. It'll open up a folder to that downloaded file. Looks like I already downloaded that file before. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the extra one I downloaded. And what you want to do is uh, double click on media creation tool 1909. What this will do is start up the Windows 10 upgrade. Okay, when this is up, you can actually close the other windows up. You have, if you have anything like uh, antivirus program running or any programs that you're working on or any documents, this would be a good time to save everything and go ahead and close those programs out. Sometimes those programs that you're running on a background will interrupt with the Windows 10 upgrade. So this is uh, what you want to do. Go ahead, close out and uh, save your work and close out everything you're doing. All right, uh, go ahead, read uh, the license agreement and then click accept after you've done that. The upgrade will, will take about roughly about 30 minutes to like a few hours, depends on how fast your computer is and how fast your internet is. All right, so what we're going to choose is uh, upgrade this PC now and click next. Okay, it's going to download all the files onto your computer that that the upgrade requires, that the upgrade is going to download all the files onto your computer to perform the upgrade. Go to pause the video for now and let this finish downloading. Okay, we're at 99% done. Now it's verifying your download. All right, verification is done. It's creating your Windows 10 media. Okay, it's done getting your uh, Windows 10 downloaded and prepare. Now it's uh, checking for any required updates for this up upgrade. It's verifying that your computer can be upgraded. Okay, it's about to. Okay, Windows 10 is about to be upgraded. Checking a few things on your PC to make sure it is ready. Okay, it's getting some stuff ready. All right, so the software license term. 
Go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom. Re read it if you have time and click accept. Now this upgrade really depends on how fast your computer is and how fast your internet is. The more RAM, the more CPU power, it'll be faster to get this installed. And also a fast hard drive too. If you have a SSD or a, one of those newer hard drives, the M NVMe, that will even be faster. Okay, right now we are at the ready to install Windows 10. And over here, there's an option to either keep your files and apps, or if you want to do it, you can actually say, I don't want to keep anything, nothing. Everything will be deleted, including all your files, apps, and settings, if you just want to do a fresh install. You also have the option to keep only your files, but delete all your apps. Or the, the default option is to keep all your personal files and apps. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it at that. And let's go ahead and click next to install. All right, click install. Like what it says right here, your PC will restart several times. It needs to do this to update certain settings and system operating system files that are currently being used. Once it updates those, then it'll continue the installation of Windows 10. I'll go ahead and pause the video for now and then we'll continue on when it gets back to 99%, 95%. All right, it's going to restart the computer. Okay, this is normal when it goes back to your desktop. It's trying to restart your computer. Okay, the update is still working. I'll go ahead, pause the video, and then I'll continue on when it gets close to 99% done. Okay, we're at 30% done. Okay, we're at 30% done. The computer restarted. Now it is still working on the upgrade. All right. Looks like Windows 10 login. And let me log in there. So first time you log in. So right now, after we upgrade it, Windows 10 is getting some stuff ready. And it may take a few minutes before this is done. So once it's done, ah, okay, it is done now. So right here, these are some of the settings in Windows 10 that you want to customize. Uh, for me, uh, I usually like to turn this off. Diagnostic data, turn it off. I don't want that to send over to Microsoft. And advertisement, I don't want that. Okay, think, think just those two. Click accept. All right, welcome to Windows 10. So basically it's showing you a few things. There's a, with Windows 10, there is a app store. So you could download applications here. Um, you could snap your screen side by side. And there's uh, you know some useful tips here and there. Okay, I'm going to close that and you can see if I right click on the start button and choose system, it will tell me what operating system I am running. So right here you can see I'm running Windows 10 Pro version 1909 and install date is January 25th, 2020. And that completes our Windows 10 upgrade from Windows 7.